presidential candidate in Kok Song conceded the election on Friday night, after a sample count result showed him garnering 16% of the vote, compared with former senior minister Tharman Shanmugaram's 70% share. The final result saw Mr. Ng take 15.72% of the vote, or 390,041 votes, compared with Mr. Thurman's 70.4% and Mr. Tan Kim Lian's 13.88%. Mr. Ng said that he had congratulated Mr. Thurman on a magnificent victory. The 75-year-old former Chief Investment Officer of Sovereign Wealth Fund GIC was accompanied by his fiancée Sibyl Lau, 45, and family members during a watch party held at the office of Mr. Ng's social media agency. He appeared expressionless as the result of the sample count was flashed on television. Mr. Ng told the media, I have decided to concede to Thurman because I do not want to keep all of you from your bedtime. As far as I'm concerned, there is no need to wait a few more hours in order to get the final result. Asked if he was shocked by the sample count, which saw Mr. Thurman leading with 70% of the vote over Mr. Eng's 16% and Mr. Tan's 14%. Mr. Ng said, Mr. Thurman has a formidable political record, so 70% is not far from what he achieved in Juro, and to be able to do it at the national level, I think, is even more laudable. In the general election, in 2020, Mr. Thurman led his People's Action Party team in Jurong GRC to a resounding win, with 74.62% of the vote. On Friday night, Mr. Ng said that soon after the sample count was out, he received a call from Mr. Thurman. Mr. Thurman said that my team and I had put up a vigorous campaign and I, in turn, congratulated him on a magnificent victory. Mr. Ng said that he had achieved his no. One goal of ensuring that the people of Singapore had the chance to vote, a point he had made when he first announced his intention to run for the presidency. That was the ultimate objective when I set out to stand for the presidency. He added, when I came forward, I also set as my goal to set an example for good and capable people to come forward and serve our country in the presidency, the government or the opposition. Another goal was for me to thank my country for what my country has given me. I will continue to serve my country until my last breath. Mr. Ng and Ms. Lau had been out and about since the morning to vote and visit various polling stations. The duo left their condominium home at 9 a.m. and headed to Ken Hill Community Club for Miss Lau to cast her vote. They then headed to Ketong Community Center for Mr. Ng to vote. Mr. Ng then visited polling stations at Wisma Geelang Sarai in Block 832 and 852 Hogang Central before going home for lunch and then back out to polling stations at the HDB hub in Toopeo. Block 348 on Misery Kio Avenue 3, Block 2D, Boon Tayang Road and Block 9C, Boon Tayang Road. He told the Straits Times, before dinner, today has been very nice. Sibyl and I went voting in Ken Hill and in Ketong. Then we went to several polling stations just to greet the people, and then we went home to have lunch, and then we went out again. I'm happy that people came out to vote very early. It shows a certain enthusiasm, but maybe that's because they want to go off for the rest of the day. But it's good. I can sense a kind of enthusiasm to vote, so that's very positive. Mr. Ng announced his bid for the presidency on July 19, after days of speculation. He was the third contender to throw his hat into the ring after Mr. Thurman and entrepreneur George Go, who did not qualify. Mr. Ng retired from GIC in 2013 after 27 years. He is currently executive chairman of investment firm Avanda Investment Management, which he co-founded with two former GIC colleagues in 2015.
While his post at GIC did not put him in the public eye often, Mr. Ng made headlines during a 2022 interview with Bloomberg when it was revealed that he taught Minister Mental Lee Kuan Yew to meditate in the late 2000s. On his campaign trail, he repeated his call to be a meditating president for Singapore by having the practice taught in schools to improve the mental health of young people. Another focus of his campaign was how he stressed that he was the only non-partisan candidate in the race. Mr Ng emphasized that unlike his rivals, Mr Thaman and Mr Tang, he had never been a part of any political party, nor had he been endorsed as a candidate by leaders from political parties. Mr Ng used this non-partisan shape point to reject insinuations that he had been put up to run for the election by the government. He further distanced himself from Mr Thaman in the week leading up to polling day. When he took issue with Mr Thaman's comments on a live forum on August 28, Mr Thaman had said that the presidential contest should be about the candidate's character and track record not whether they had been members of political parties. Private companies may depend on government contracts and fund management companies may depend on government monies, but this does not mean that they are not independent," said Mr. Thaman. Mr. Ng said then that the comment was clearly made about him and reiterated that if elected, he would fully divest his ownership stake in asset management company, Avanda Investment Management. He also disputed Mr. Thaman's comparison of those with past political affiliations and those who are dependent on the government in some way, saying, there is a big difference between being a senior government leader and the rest of us. He issued posters in favor of social media campaigning and also went on daily walkabouts from nomination day till Wednesday, visiting the heartland and the central business district to interact with Singaporeans. But not everything went without a hitch. On Tuesday, a heckler on a bicycle disrupted Mr. Eng's walkabout in Clementi Central. He appeared agitated and raised a fist at bystanders. The 30-year-old man was taken to the Institute of Mental Health after he went to the police to lodge a report. Mr. Eng's online campaign won him many likes. His Instagram account, which was created only after he announced his intention to run, has amassed 133,000 followers, more than both his competitors combined. On TikTok, Videos of how he stays healthy at 75 and on financial literacy have garnered more than 3 million views. In thanking his staff, family and supporters, Mr. Ng specifically mentioned his young social media warriors. I have discovered in this campaign the power of social media. I've also discovered the power of our younger generation of Singaporeans. He said. Mr. Mark Tay. 63, a retired fund manager who has known Mr. Ng since 1984, said Mr. Ng had fought a good fight, given that he was the least known candidate among the three. Any supporter would have felt that he should have gotten more votes, but as a relatively unknown candidate, without any link to any political party, he has done relatively well.